All right, welcome back to another episode of Beer Bacon and Bros. As always, I'm Alex. I've got Adam right here. Got Chris. going on. Got Keith down there in the end. Uh, thank you for watching another episode of Beer Bacon and Bros. And I hope you enjoy it. This is the final round of our sports movie bracket challenge. Greatest sports movies of all time. We are down to The Sandlot versus Remember the Titans. We put it out on our Instagram poll. So we have the public vote to be a tiebreaker. And then the four of us. Keith, Sandlot, Remember the Titans. Who you got? Do any of y'all know the do y'all know the results of the public vote? Uh, I didn't I did look at last I, I do, I do. I did when I, I voted, I saw what the spread was. Okay. I wanna, yeah, I saw what the spread was when I voted too. Alright. Okay. So, so, so I, I'm gonna, we'll just go with it. Just go with it. Okay. Well, that's a little bit of a surprise for y'all. Well, I was, I mean, my vote's gonna be for Remember the Titans, just because that's, it's to me, it's more so of a, of a you know, real good sports movie for me. I mean, The Sandlot's great, but if, if I'm gonna go between the two, I'm gonna put the Titans. Okay. Okay. Then Remember the Titans probably like fits you a little bit better, or I mean. So I mean, it. I mean, so the Sandlot came. I mean, I was I was like seven years old when the Sandlot came out. So I, mean, I remember the movie, but I just remember I do I remember remember the Titans a lot more. And it was more so like when I was playing football and that came out and like you know we went and, we went and watched that movie as like it was like a as a team a bond team. a bonding thing for the team you know yeah. to see you know to get everybody to come together and, and act as a team, play as a team, be a team versus being you know individuals more, right yeah. so. I mean, it just, it, and I mean, to me, it's just, I mean, I don't want to say it's a better movie, but it's just more so what I would want to watch over the same life, over and over and over again. Okay, so we got one from Remember the Titans. Um, this was hella hard for me. Like, these are, without a doubt, the, my two favorite sports movies of all time, and like, The Sandlot kind of describes our childhood, like the three of us, yeah. and so, it, like, it's such a, and I watched it way more than I probably have ever watched Remember the Titans. So it's been more of a like personal movie for me, but this is the best sports movie bracket of all time. And in the in the category of calling it a sports movie, I feel like Remember the Titans is just a better sports movie than The Sandlot. Like I think The Sandlot's a great story, it's a great movie, it's probably, in general, if you're not talking about, like categorize it as a sports movie, The Sandlot would probably be a better movie, more recognizable movie, more popular movie. But for a sports movie, I mean, just the story and, and coming together and kind of solving racism and, and things like that. I feel like Remember the Titans was a better sports movie, so I, I will pick Remember the Titans. Okay, yeah. Um, Same Lot is a great movie. It's a childhood classic, one of our uh, one of our favorites. Like we've said in every video, and we've mentioned it nonstop. Great young kids, baseball. It's got the heartfelt, you know, that nostalgic feel about it, especially as you're growing up. You're, Wishing you had the good old days back of like just that young, carefree, innocent childhood days. Remember the Titans is what he said. It's just a through and through such a great sports movie. Basically, you know, an awesome true story as well. You got Denzel, you got Will Patton, you got the young Ryan Hurst, who's the one, he's one of my favorite characters in Sons of Anarchy. You got like looking through like I was just looking through the the list of like all the actors remember the Titans is. I say, wait, it's unreal. All the you know, Ryan Gosling, Ryan Gosling, 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 Gosling. They've got um, Hayden Pantier's in there. She's the young daughter. Yeah. Then there was um the uh, the Denzel's daughter. I forget her name, but she ends up being like a great actress. I get her confused with another actress that she looks just like, but I think she's the one that's in Guardians of the Galaxy. But anyways, a list cast all the way throughout. A great top, great you know storyline through everything. I'm gonna have to go with Remember the Titans. Wow. So I'm the oddball out. I, I'm going with Sam Lott. Um, growing up, a ball player. Always loved the movie. Thought it was always great. Story behind it, and I mean, living out your your summer dreams before you know going back to school and you know wanting to play ball every day and just getting to hang out with all your all your boys. And like Chris had mentioned, you know, I feel like the three of us growing up together, it all kind of experience that somewhat, you know, us being in the same, same neighborhood, hanging out in the cul-de-sac, doing whatever, hanging out summer days, summer nights, everything. Um, but Remember the Titans is also a phenomenal sports movie. But for me, it is Sandlot. But 
I'm not voted three to one here, so it don't matter. You are, and the public vote actually went with you. It was a yes. 59 41. Oh, then it was a so lot. It closer. was a lot closer than when yeah. I voted. I when I voted, it was like 88 to 20. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's actually surprising. Yeah. Yeah. Some some votes came on. We even had a couple people write us on Instagram and say like, "How do I pick between these two? So yeah. we know it was hard. We know it was a championship. You know, uh, you two two heavy hitters. Yeah, two, two, like heavy, two heavy hitters. These are two. I mean, that's a perfect perfect championship round of a, of a movie bracket. Yeah, it was a so That's a hell of a Held the championship round. Um, is there movies on here that you guys think should have went further? Uh, I think me and Alex can agree that Miracle <laughs> should have <laughs> passed Longest Yard. And longest, the Adam Sandler Longest Yard is funny. It's good. Yeah, but Miracle, Miracle is just so much better as a sports movie. I mean, it's you're literally talking, you're you're talking about the true, true story of when the NHL would, would not allow other players to go play in the Olympics still, so we had the amateur college kids come out and beat the fucking Russians. And uh, it's just a oh, great freaking movie. Um, and the longest yard somehow won. Still yeah. salty. I mean, I think, I think that was a tough competition. I think the longest yard was also a pretty good first round movie. But I can understand Miracle, you know, think it's something like that. I mean, Wait, for, for Friday, me, Friday Night Lights stop. The Friday Night Lights made it three rounds. I mean, they all stayed it was in the outfield. It made it to the so, uh, elite eight. Yeah. Um, okay. You know, I think Kicking and Screaming was one that, it, like, maybe it's not exactly a full on like sports movie. Like, maybe it's just more of a you know comedy. Sports theme. Yeah, sports, sports theme. theme. Um, but but yes, thought, it's like, definitely like a sports comedy movie. You know, it didn't make it out the first round. Um, Funny. You know, it beat what on the first round? It did make it out the first round. Bad News Bears beat Kicking and Screaming. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, so yeah, I love the um, show, but yeah, Kicking and Screaming. It's funny. You know, Field of Dreams, maybe if they didn't have to go up against the Sandlot in the, in the second yeah. round. Like, Field of Dreams would have went know, a lot deeper. It would have went a lot deeper. Moneyball was a personal move for me. I thought it was better than Rocky, but, you know, we got it. There's Rocky has its own cult following, and, um, you know, the War Boy, I mean, didn't even make it out the first round. It, yeah, it, I was, was, was going to show that. I was going to say, well, that was, well, a, was, that was a hard, that was a good pairing, too, of, yeah. two, of two of Adam Sandler's great. Voice movie. I think there was a split on on all of us too. We had to go to Cinetopical in the in the uh, in the popular vote. Yeah, yeah, the public vote. Yeah. So, um, great movie bracket. Thanks for doing this, by the yeah, way. Yeah, we yeah. put a lot of work into this, but uh, Keith wanted this thing to be like 128 movies. Yeah, yeah. We well, no, because I, I got I got to working on it. I'm like, well, damn, I, I gotta leave this out. I gotta leave this out. I gotta leave this out. And so this is something we could revisit. You know. Oh yeah, we, yeah. we can definitely do it again with with another 32 movies and just kind of. We might do it with just baseball. So, remember the Titans. Congratulations, you're the winner. You're the champion. You beat out Sandlot. Um, great movie bracket again. Thank you for doing this. We. will I'm sure we, in the next three or four months probably do it. Yeah, we'll, right. we'll revisit it. And we'll revisit it because we had a lot of fun doing this. And then Alex had a lot of fun making fun of the fact that I don't have a lot of movies. movies so. And giving some topical shit. And giving some topical shit. So. Got yeah. to. Yeah. Which. Fuck those guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree with your decision. So <laughs> All right. So remember the Titans, the champion of the Beer Bacon and Bros. First ever sports. Denzel win another award. Yeah. <laughs>